cat lovers, um, just wanted to do a short video based on some um, emails that I received regarding rats nails and how to keep them short and so they're not scratching you as often. Um, one thing I do recommend is start with prevention. Um, get these lava ledges. They clip right onto the cage. Um, when the rats climb up onto them, it files down their nails because it's almost like um, an emery board. And, and that will help keep them maintained. Um, I do notice that for my rats, the front nails usually never need to be clipped um, because they kind of pull themselves up onto this lava ledge using their front paws. Um, maybe if I can get one to get down. Do this demonstration. Come on, Chelsea, get down. All right, come on. Who's going to come up? Come on, Aniston. Come on. Who wants to come up? See how they kind of pull themselves up with their front paws. So that keeps their front nails um, pretty short. Aniston is usually on this ledge all the time. She's like my baby and always wants to come out. So she's usually the first one up here. Um, sometimes she's even waiting for me. So her nails, I never have to trim her nails. She's always on this thing and they're kept short. Um, today I went and did the girl's nails. Didn't have to do Aniston's and that's because she kind of keeps her own nails trimmed using this lava ledge. Um, you find them in pet stores. Um, I found mine over where they keep most of the chinchilla stuff. Um, you can find them with rat stuff. Um, maybe even over with the hamster guinea pigs. I don't know. But that's where I found mine. So that helps maintain their nails themselves. They can use that and keep their front nails trim. The back nails, on the other hand, are kind of pain in the butt because they do tend to grow out. And since you, you know, I do have a hairless in here, as you can see, um, I do have to make sure, especially my females, that their nails are kept short because um, I let it go a little too long. And Scarlet has, I don't know if you can see it, come here, Scar. She's got a little scratch going down her forehead. It's not bad, it's just a little scratch, and it was probably from one of the other girls, um, their nails, when they were in the hammock or something. Um, so yeah, what I use to trim their back nails are these nail clippers. I think they're like cuticle scissors maybe. They're kind of slanted in the front. Um, and they clip that way. But I found these to be the best. I've tried baby scissors. I've tried baby nail clippers. I've tried regular nail clippers. These work the best. I think it's because the point is so small, I'm really able to get in there and trim the nails the way I want to. And because it's angled, um, the technique I'm going to show you, or try to show you, trying to hold a camera and clip nails at the same time, challenge, um, <laughs> it works better for my technique. Um, I may just have to describe my technique because I don't know how I'm going to do this with one hand. Anyways, let's see how it goes. So, um, for my rats, um, I most of my girls, as you can see, they're very social. They come right up. They're very used to me. My youngest, my newest female, uh, Paisley, is still in the trust training phase. She's still not used to me. She'll come up and smell me, but she doesn't really like me handling her. I was able to trim her nails. So, obviously, this is working a little bit. Um, what I do is I have my lava ledge. I kind of open it up. Usually, the girls will be fighting to get up on here. See, look at them all. <laughs> They're usually fighting to get up here, but what I'll do, I'll use somebody who's a little bit more well behaved, to, for example, um, is I'll hold them on this lava ledge. Come here. I know I'm not trimming your nails again, baby. Here, we'll use Aniston. She's a good, good model. At least when I'm trying to do it one handed. It's not that difficult to do otherwise, but for the sake of this video, we'll use her. I'll just balance her on the ledge. And you see how her feet kind of hang over? Or they were. I'll kind of let her feet hang over. Hold her firmly in one hand so I'm not to hurt her. Um, with Paisley, what I noticed worked was I kind of do what I kind of call the harness grip. Hang on, let me get her situated. And it's usually better with two hands. I don't see how anybody with one hand could ever do, do this. <laughs> um, come here, baby. It's okay. Get back in there, Scar. Go ahead, Scarlet. Um, my harness grip is my two, my uh, index finger and middle finger kind of go over the rat's shoulders 
and I'm usually able to maneuver them better. Man, this video is going to suck because I can't do this. All right. Come here, Aniston. No, 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 baby. She doesn't like this because she doesn't. She's like, I don't need this one. All right, baby girl, baby girl, baby girl. Okay. Uh, see how hard it is to do a video with rats climbing everywhere? All right, anyways, forget the harness grip. I'll show you another video. What I'll do is I'll let her feet hang over the side. Come here, Chelsea. We'll use Chelsea. And then once she's kind of standing, then I'll just snip, snip, snip those back nails. Easy peasy when you're not trying to do a video with one hand. You know, if you got two hands, it's a little bit easier because you're able to hold the clippers and <laughs> everything else. But that's how I do it. I'm going to try to make a better video. I just wanted to get this out here, out there so that um, anybody who's like, I really need to trim my nails, um, rat's nails, can at least get started. You got the, the gist of it. You got the basic idea. Get a lava ledge, put it on the cage door if it folds down. If not, put them on a flat surface so their back nails hang over the edge a little bit while you're holding them. Maybe have somebody help you distract them with a treat. Something that's lickable, like um, meat flavored baby food works wonders. So while they're sitting there licking the baby food, they're usually a lot more calm than normal and you can go in with those, those little scissors I showed you, the little clippers, and just snip those back nails real easy. Um, like dog's nails, they have a quick, so when you're looking at the nail, you'll see a little pink area inside the nail. You want to avoid that. Cut the white, just the tip, the little hangover part, um, and you should be good from there. Alright, so I will try to do another video when I maybe can have my husband hold the camera, but for now, that should give you the basic idea of how to trim your rat's nails, and you can get started. Thanks for watching. Bye.